Hi everybody, it's Kev here. Welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast. This is a space where we talk about all things in the personal development field, from the Stoics and the Stoic philosophy to getting out of your comfort zone and living your life at an inspired, optimum level. We have guests who will inspire you with their stories of healing and courage and how they now inspire others. So please subscribe to my podcast and share any episodes that resonate with you with family and friends. And please support those who support us. Immune support is a supplement that really helps your immune system stay healthy during these chaotic times we live in. And Proven is quite possibly one of the world's very best natural weight loss supplements. The links to these beautiful life enhancing supplements are below in the show notes. For now, let's go inside. Morning everybody, Kev here. Welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast. Today, it rained and then it rained some more. And then it rained some more. So it was a fun run, I've got to say. It was the wettest run I've had, no doubt. Uh, it just kept on coming down. And it was, the funny, funny thing was, it was 17 degrees, which is very warm for Melbourne in the morning. I got through it. And that's the main thing. That's what it's all about. And um, it was just great to get out there and just do it. I woke up and again, it was pouring with rain. I could hear it coming down on the roof. And I thought, yes, this is the day. This is the one. Great, I'm going to get out there. And how often do I talk about, you know, people's perception? I wake up, can't wait, get, can't wait to get out there and go and run in the rain. Probably 99% of people wake up and, um, oh, it's raining. Yep, yeah, I'll stay home today. I'll stay in bed. And that's, the, that's, that's our perception. As we spoke about yesterday, um, it's not the truth. <laughs> that's the whole thing. That's just someone's perception and someone's opinion. It's just their opinion. It's not the truth. It's not fact. So that was an important lesson again today. Today I want to talk to you about a quote from an Australian lady. Now her name is Elizabeth Kenny. I wonder how many of you know who Elizabeth Kenny is, especially people in Australia here. She was born in New South Wales back in 1880. She died uh, and lived most of her life in Toowoomba. She was a nurse and died in 1952. She's known for her alternative approach to treating polio, which is really interesting. And like I say, she was a nurse, and her quote is, he who angers you, conquers you. He who angers you, conquers you. And for more reports, she was a very stoic lady and uh, fits into my uh, category of stoics, no doubt. And uh, I just love that quote because it's very appropriate appropriate for me today because uh, it's interesting I I come on here and tell you all that um, you know just to control your emotions and all that kind of thing and yet last night having dinner and something came on about the current pandemic thing and I've gone oh god and it was as though that particular segment that I saw triggered me and my partner Joy said what are you doing you, you tell people how to you know you're supposed to be controlling your your uh, emotions and here you are getting triggered by this stuff and she was dead right so I've got to work on this and it was just the perfect quote he who angers you conquers you and it really made me realize yeah look I'm I've been letting the pandemic get to me I've been letting a certain person who runs this state that I live in get to me and I've just got to let that go because I'm giving my power to this person. I'm losing all my power. And that's what happens when you when you go along and you get angry with somebody, they may have done something to you or may have indirectly done something to you, you get angry and you just give them all, all your power. Your power just leaves you and up and goes. And you know, a great thing to do is just forgive them and move forward and just let that go. And that's what I'm working on this week, definitely. Um, so I, I certainly, you know, that happens to me. And I've, I want to get rid of that because uh, I know I'll check in on certain things during the day and it just triggers me and uh, I just think, what am I doing? Stop looking at that. Focus on what you're doing. What you're doing is fantastic. So why are you focusing on this other stuff that is just, you're giving your power away, that's making you angry. So thank you, Joy pointing that out and keep doing that and definitely make sure that 
make me accountable because uh, I just want to focus on what I'm doing, the stuff that gives me power, and stop looking at other stuff that is just taking my power away. So I, just, I love that quote. I'll read it once more. He who angers you conquers you. And it's, it's common sense, really. You get angry with people, you get annoyed with something, you've lost all your power. You've just got no power left. It just drains you of power, drains you of energy. And it doesn't do it. One, it's just wasted. Anger is just wasted. And it's just it makes you upset. It makes you feel horrible. So what's the point of it? There is no point to it. So I guess the key here, the lesson is, don't be angry. Just let that person go. Just let them go. Just focus on what you can control. You can't control what they do. So just focus on what you can control. And that's my plan uh, going forward. So just focus on that and forget about the person that's making you angry, the situation that's making you angry, and just really put all your thoughts, all your energy into what, into the positive stuff in your life, put all the energy there and stop focusing on the stuff that's not in any way improving your life. He who conquers you, sorry, he who angers you conquers you, Elizabeth Kenny. So worth going to check her out, Elizabeth Kenny, like I say, an Aussie nurse, born in New South Wales, um, lived in Toowoomba, was a nurse in Toowoomba from, uh, she was born 1880, died in 1952. Uh, a really inspiring lady, so uh, it's good to have an Aussie uh, as a Stoic, which is fantastic. Have a great day. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you did, please subscribe and leave a review. That really helps us and is very much appreciated. And also please share it with your family and friends. You can join us inside the 123 Meditation Club, where we do five live meditations a week. The link to the club is down below. And we all need the immune support supplement during these crazy, chaotic times to stay healthy and keep COVID at bay. And Proven is quite possibly one of the world's very best natural weight loss supplements. All the links are down below. Thanks for listening.